I'm Mandalina Kazaki. This is the first time that I've ever participated in a research group and a research project. I've never worked under a fume hood until now. So that's been really, really exciting. We're tape casting thick films of zinc sulfide, which is a material that's very useful for infrared optics. But I think it's never been done before because there hasn't been a technological driver. And also some of the sulfide processing equipment that we have here in our lab is very uncommon. And some of it we're developing here for the first time. This is the slurry that I have prepared. You want it to look like Elmer's glue. That's the thickness that you want this to be at. I pour it right on top of the microscope slide. So this is the zinc sulfide with the plasticizer and binding agent. On a typical tape casting machine, you will have a reservoir that you can pour the slurry into. Yeah. But this, this is just a very simple method. To mimic an actual tape casting machine, I try to move really slowly because it moves at the same rate of speed. And that's how you tape cast. I'm an engineering student from Bunker Hill Community College, pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering. Other interests that I have are that I'm a chef, I'm a musician in an all-female band, and I can spin fire. Just sort of a trial and error. Definitely, but I have quite a few samples. These ones, especially the ones towards the back, are the most recent samples. So this is our best sample. As you can see, it is flexible, much more durable. It doesn't come apart as soon as I pull it. And this is what we're going to be working with on the next steps. And what we'd like to do is lower the cost, expand the flexibility and material set available for infrared optics designers. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to intern at MIT and under Professor Haramiya's group because I've learned so much and I can't wait to see what my future holds. Thank you. You're welcome.